Fesha fari. Fesha fari fari. Fari. Is life uh, please read that one more time because I, I is feel is life feel easy to say. in Germany like being a master student and is, is life ever easy no matter what you're doing in Germany? Mm-mm. Imagine I don't understand the reason for your hate. I can't hear you from it's down here. <laughs> you mean from up there? No, I mean from next here. <laughs> oh, you looking hot. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's a date. Pajama is this wig. The wig. Take away you. Hate doesn't look good on you. Please, I beg my sister, we could do a that's the this thing. Who taught you? Who taught you? Well, pigeon does the pigeon came and knocked on my door and said, baby girl. Baby girl. Hmm. Slay. Slay. Quench. Nareza. <laughs> No, no, I can't okay. That's so dry. I am, my name is Winnie, and I am into daddy jokes. Me, I love daddy jokes. Because they're so bad that they're funny. So bad that they're so... Just mm. not. Hi. Hi, My guys. name is Winnie. Welcome to my channel. Okay, sorry. Wrong channel. Ah. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm Martha, and I love you. That's a good thing. So, imagine we are sober, kinda. Okay. <clears throat> Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha, and. This is a beauty and lifestyle channel and motherhood. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel and like this video, all right? So today, Munavio Ona, as you can see, we have a beauty, a freaking beauty. Telephone kucha pesla. Hilda. Yes, we've got a guest today. Hey, you've never been here on my channel before. No, I have not. Wow. But I wonder how, why did that take so long? No, <laughs> no actually, it's true. Why did it take that long? But actually, it's been a long time coming. <clears throat> actually, I look good. I shouldn't hide my eyes. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, please, please introduce yourself to my friends. Hi, friends. Hi, mother, mother's friends. My name is Winnie. And this is my long lost wife. <laughs> she we, finally came to find me. <laughs> <laughs> we divorced. We divorced. And then, this is the kind of. She asked me about <laughs> her couch. Ouch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow. I'm sorry. Ow. Okay. So, Mgongo, Narist. Amekuja. Hey, by the way, Tumekuja Kuwa. <laughs> Please stop. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Bad jokes. Wrong channel. Channel. Please stop. Okay. Let me be sure. <clears throat> to tell you Well, <clears throat> guys, um, this is my well studied, well educated friend. So I've always wanted to do this, Winnie. I don't know if you know, but I always wanted to do this video. <sighs> With you, you know? Because. Guy, wow, you know my passcode now, you know all my secrets. You already know all my secrets, but now you know another one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I've always wanted to do, this, to do this video with her because she's the she's one of the people that 
I know are in my circle that have gone through the hustle and bustle of uni in Germany. Can I call it hustle and bustle? I think mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. So I wanted to, you know, bring her on for you guys to, you know, ask questions, find out if you want to know stuff about studying in Germany then you can ask. So I went ahead and asked you guys on Instagram to put your questions, okay, on a question tag, on my stories. Please follow me on Instagram because you won't, you won't be missing out on such chances to ask questions if I have a guest, a special guest, like moi. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, so you guys sent some questions. If you missed asking this time round, don't you worry these are next time that's the other secret you've just checked aki don't worry because you know what she's got you anyway mkuru gensi team oh sorry wrong team wrong channel <laughs> sorry we love them but okay to no. takata now well let me start with the question because i had like two uh, tags mm -hmm. you know just to give everybody a chance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So I'm just going to start with the first question I think I got. Mm -hmm. um, I think Joy said, I'm in Germany. I got a seaplane in KCSE. I did not study further. I want to make nursing hospital. Okay. I did not study further. Okay, now you. <clears throat> this is not studies as in university. You don't study nursing in the university generally in Germany. So that is Ausbildung. This, that's apprenticeship, and that's a whole different video that I actually have done before, and I'm going to link it down in the description bar. But just to tell you this, it is possible. It is possible with a seaplane in KCSC. It is possible. You only need to get your language right, okay? And you need a B2 to study nursing in Germany at the moment. In most places. Yeah, almost everywhere now. Is it possible to study medicine as a foreigner in Germany? Did you introduce yourself? Yeah, I did. Hi, my name is Winnie. Welcome to Martha's channel. Mother of Pines. Yeah, but... You studied Nini Ah, okay. Kai Akimi, I'm not really good at this. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Winnie. And um, yeah, I have studied in Germany and I've done my BA in uh, Communication and Media Studies. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was my minor. And then my major was English Language, so mm -hmm. English Literature. And I have. <laughs> I have my master's also in uh, comparative studies, which is basically English um, and American studies. So, bitch. we don't say water, we say water. <laughs> okay. So sorry. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying your vlog. This is time. one something in the night. And okay. you're doing this wahala. With this wahala. <laughs> uh, you have a lot to cut, by the way. Guy, this is gonna be... <laughs> Guy, it's already six minutes. Okay. Is it possible to study medicine as a foreigner in Germany? Yes, it is possible. In, as a matter of fact, I know several people who have studied um, medicine. The only thing is that you... To study medicine, you have to have sciences, um, physics, biology, and chemistry. chemistry. And I think you need math. I'm not really sure, but I think you also need math. In case you have information on this, like you, you can like fill up on some of the information that we did not mention in the video in the comment section, mm -hmm. please. If you have gone through this yourself, that would be very helpful for the people reading the comments. Yes, and um, you like the language, the German language needs to be, you know, very good for because that. You, that one you need to study in yes, German. Yes, yes. So basically, the club kind of, um, I don't know, the study is just kind of clumped up with the German language. You study to Kusoma, you just need to study, 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 and everything mm -hmm. is in German. 
yeah. everything is in German. Because and you're also going to be working in German hospitals. Exactly. And speaking German. German. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to study, uh, if you've already done your um, your studies in Kenya, for example, and you want to study here or specialize in Germany, you need to come here and do your German Language course. Mm -hmm. But the German, um, how do you say, medical German. Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, medical German, so that you're able to study and specialize here. Wow. Yeah. But it's possible. It's possible. You just have to be willing to do the hassle, to do the work, and that's it. Yeah. But it's possible. Okay, the other question, which is actually really unrelated, and I don't know if you're going to answer this, because mm -hmm. I just want to ask which bank is good for saving money while in Germany, Equity or APSA? Honestly speaking, I have no idea about APSA Bank, so... I've never heard about APSA Bank, but Equity, do you mean like the Kenyan branch? Because I've never heard of an Equity Bank here. But I think Equity Banks back home are actually... Well, you know, there's online banking, so... Okay. Maybe they mean they're tra transferring money yeah. to their banks in Kenya. I really... I really sorry. Don't know about that. Wrong video. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone get a sponsor? But please save. Oh, ooh. oh, but please save. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, like sponsor or scholarship? Please help us clarify. <laughs> okay, so let's say the main sponsor, Dad. Ah, you mean like scholarship? Ah, okay. Not so, the uh, mm. ad. Ah, okay. <laughs> the ad. Baba. Oh. <laughs> 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 I see what you did. So, so, so. Eh. So, I don't know how you get sponsors. <laughs> I think we are shambas in this one. Okay, that one we can't help you. Sorry. Actually, I really hope that you mean sponsorship in terms of Studying. scholarship. Yeah. Because if you're looking for scholarships in Germany, mm -hmm. there's this website called DAD, which is D A A D, not D A D. Okay. Okay. Um, where you can get scholarships they have like you know listed they have listed these scholarships there and you can just decide which one works for you best and you apply for them you know um the requirements are always written below yeah so the website is just www.daad.com yeah but actually just write d-a-a-d yeah just google D -A, and that's yeah. it. google is your friend uh, guy in many things hmm. mm -hmm. But um, another thing is that usually the universities have scholarships programs mm -hmm. and if you're a woman, sometimes they have like more sponsors for you, more scholarships for you, you just have to shake the right tree and you get fruits, literally, tree, complete tree, oh I'm sorry, shake the right tree, ah, yeah, 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 Sorry. I see what you're doing. Just asking. You know. Okay. Moving so, on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does Studien Colleague require blocked account? That is a very good question. But I suspect that at least you have to have proof of survive that you can survive in germany while you're studying so maybe you don't need a blocked account but maybe you need a verpflichtungs okay. account if you know the answer to this please let us know in the comment section we mm. will be really really grateful a very good question by the way mm -hmm. it is so do i need uni admission first before getting admission to a studying colleague you need an admission 
to the student college and have gone through student college to get admitted to the university but this only actually applies to people who did their o levels right so if you studied in kenya you did our 844 system right for example you, yeah. yes mm -hmm. you are obliged to do a student college and that's how long i think it's two years so it's what, a is, pre what is that student college for someone who is like fresh to these things so basically what happens is that it's called like a pre-university course right mm -hmm. and um it's a course between your o level um so that you can get the um, abitur what is abitur Wow, abitur in English. So, okay, let me try and simplify this, okay? And just say that... <clears throat> um, high school. Abitur high is school. high school. High school. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't really make sense. Okay, so this is basically what they do in student college. So, um, the old level, right? They yeah, abitur is like the graduation from high school. So what we got. Yeah, it is. But I'm trying to kind of explain the... Because um, basically the subjects that we did... The sciences that we did back home, mm -hmm. those are the things we more you you know people who go through um, shooting colleague. Is it in German or English? It's in German, so your German still needs to be good. Maybe that's why we repeat them because they're in German. Well, but that doesn't make sense because this German. If you studied, for example, in Uganda, and you've done your A levels, which is exactly what I did, right? Um, if I did my my A levels. And I could just apply to the university directly. I didn't have to do student college. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's try and simplify and say. So you've done your all levels. Umemaliza form four. You're done with form four. Um, you have to go through student college. But if you have form five and form six, you don't need student college to apply to the university. So <clears throat> there are two systems like if you you were in Uganda and you did your A levels, right? There are two things that could happen to you. So I studied art and I had economics and I didn't have a science in my four combinations, right? So I had history, I think I had <clears throat> economics, Swahili my child is up. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you, we were at that one where if you need you need admission first before getting admission. The simple way, the simplest way to put it is you need you need to pass your student colleague and use that requirement to apply for uni. Mm -hmm. Okay? You cannot apply uni without a student colleague if you need a student colleague. But like you said, with your A levels mm -hmm. from uni, from five and six, mm -hmm. you did not need mm -hmm. student colleague. No. But O levels, what we Kenyans, you, most Kenyans usually have the the O levels. Yes, the O levels. What we mostly Kenyans have after high school, you would need student colleague. Okay. Right. That's one year yeah? usually. Yes. But if you fail Unarudia one more time, yeah, or two, that's a very good question. But like, let's put it this way: I didn't have to go through student college. Yeah. That's why I'm also kind of lost there. But I think you have so one yeah. more chance. If you fail, I think it's only one more chance. Correct us in the comment section. To idea. Yeah. Good. 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 Next question. Do you only study in German language or are there courses done in English? Okay. Usually. Okay. Hmm. Many unis have German programs alone. Um, but of late, I think with... Um, world opening up and English becoming lingua franca right so it's it's like um, many unis are also 
offering, offering English courses. Yeah. But they always have a minimum German requirement. Mm-hmm. And I think if I'm not wrong, it's an A2 B1. Yes. Okay. For survival. For survival. For survival. Okay. So at least I would say um like if you live around uh Cologne area you have like um universities uh, let's say NRV you have uni- uh Hochschule like um RWTH which is like in Aachen they have many many english courses if you're living around Karlsruhe they have um Fachhochschule Karlsruhe which has a lot of english courses and uh yes it's much easier they you have more from yeah sorry Finish. They have many courses now and they're offering more courses, but you need you still need German, so there's no shortcut. Okay, no shortcut. Earlier on, you mentioned, um, well, the, the better universities to attend in Kenya for you to have chances to study mm. or to further your studies here in Germany, right. Can you elaborate on that, please? If you studied at University of Motito and Day, <laughs> I don't know if there's a uni there. Anyway, I okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> I take back my words. So let's say University of Nairobi, mm-hmm. right? It's mm-hmm. recognized, and uh, usually every university in Germany has a list of universities in. A specific country in every country which is recognized for when you're supp- applying school is that so that is true so and you or n is one of them and as a matter of fact i know that ku is a partner university to either Köln or either born. uni born am a uni Köln because Köln is cologne yeah That's cologne most people call it <laughs> University of Cologne and um, those are also elite universities which are partners with uh, KU. That's Kenyatta University. Yes, yes. I didn't know that though. I thought that was interesting to point out. Yeah. So if you want to have, um, you know, to study here, it would be nice if you actually started your program in a, in a, in a well-known University, university in Kenya, in Kenya. which is actually government owned right mm-hmm. if you go to the private university at least try to go to uh an uni which is which has the same system as here like strathmore or uh usiu mm-hmm. right besha farafari okay Next question. Did we answer that like fully? I think we did. I think we did. Come out to Jadzibu. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I should give them your number. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, can people follow you on Instagram? Yes, you can. You may. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna link. I'm gonna like put her handle over there so you can follow her and ask anything you might be interested to know. Okay. Yes. So how difficult is it, particularly for Africans, to gain admission to study medicine in Japan? Mm-hmm. Didn't we answer that? Didn't we? Didn't we? Shall we? Must we? Could how we? Did, wait, how difficult okay. is it, particularly for Africans, to gain admission to study? I think we did. We did this. Yeah, did this. but I don't think. Let's put it this way: if your grades are in order, in order, if your um, German is in, in order, order. <laughs> mm-hmm. and you have one milli in your account, ish, 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 ish. Please just wait. One point five milli. Okay. Oh, sorry, Stop. it's too much. Okay. Ten thousand euros, please. Okay, that sounds better. Cause hey, when you start mentioning better. millions, okay, sour, sour. green paper anyway what to a footwear my chosen she had be issue 
<laughs> Anywho, kai kai kai. That's a lot of money, man. Like you person are going very very difficult to come by you know that 10000 euros <laughs> well, but here's the catch when you have the money in this account eh yeah that's it's I feel that's the hardest that's the hardest part of it i think yes if you have the grades if you have the language and then you have the cash actually you got you have it all mm -hmm. i think you're ready you exactly. are ready because the money is the hardest part and verpflichtungserklärung Verpflichtungserklärung um, is basically that you need someone to sign um, that piece of paper and they say rain on sunshine. I got you. I got you. And wait, do you need the okay. blocked account with the 10k plus? No, no, no. Either or. Either or. Either or. Okay. But actually when you're studying, in most cases, like they prefer a blocked account because they just want to see that that you can sustain yourself in Germany mm -hmm. and every month um, from that 10k that you have in your account in your bla blocked account um, you have 600 euros to your disposal to pay your bills they unlock 600 per month for you well, to I thought safer to know okay anyway Yes, sour, sour. <laughs> I like her tart. <laughs> she has refused. They unlock 600 per month for yeah. your personal use. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't have to use it, right? Mm -hmm. You don't but, have to use it. Yeah, you don't have to use it. Of course, if you have like other incomes, you can leave the money blocked. Mm -hmm. And then I think at the end of it all, you can get your money back. Yes, all of it. All if it. you have not used a consent. But mm -hmm. the thing is, some people, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Why? Say it. Some people mm -hmm. ask other people mm -hmm. to put their money in their account. And then. That's not a secret. People do it all then, the time. And then, and then when they study, mm -hmm. they return the money. Yeah. As long as they see money blocked, what's their problem? Anyway, what we're saying is, if you have someone trusted, like a sister or a friend, a really good friend or whoever, and they are ready and willing to block the money for you, they can do that for you. And then uh, at the end of the studies, you can get your money back. Mm -hmm. Period. Good. But it's not easy to sign this amount of money to someone. And it's, it's not, not easy to also ask someone to sign a flesh to exclaim. Maybe it's easier to ask. But manzim to quit here ku block your ten K men. Wako. Lakene. Nirahi si kweli, it's not. It's not. It's not just a lot of trust here. Mm. A lot. Yeah. There are people who have been heartbroken. That's <laughs> Well, <laughs> story. Hiya. The master's program. Mm. Uh, how do you apply for a master's program with a first class honors degree in industrial chemistry from Kenya? Normally, I would say. How's that? You you just go to the uni which you're applying to. Yes. You click on the website and then you see the, the application application process and then you click. and then you apply. Yeah. Period. And sometimes applying for a masters, mm. it's easier to apply. Um, let's put it this way: when you're applying for a BA for the first time, mm -hmm. you might have to go through Uni Assist, which is an agency, but I think it's Uni specific. You know, like some universities, you have to apply directly to the school itself. And some other universities, you have to go through an agency called Uni or Uni Assist. And you have to pay the agency. Um, for masters, usually, you can apply directly to the university in most cases. You don't usually need Uni Assist. Yeah, and most masters are in English, offered in English. Ah. Uh, uh, no, no, it depends. Or it depends. PhD. 
it depends it, it really really depends mm -hmm. which which course you're doing mm -hmm. um but like i said now there are more courses kuna ma courses mob sasa is that english so um all you have to do is did you study in german or english um <laughs> both mostly so when i was doing my um my ma i did it in english i mean it's an english course mm -hmm. so it would be redundant to study <laughs> German. Mm -hmm. anyway but for communication studies i had to do that in german completely i cook on english there was no english course for that but then it depends it's uni specific and it depends on the course that you're studying okay. Okay. Okay, sawa. Tundele na aya mambo ya ishe. Um, is life easy in Germany being a master's student and working? Pesha fari. Pesha fari fari. Is life please read that one more time because I I is feel I'm tempted. Is life easy to say, in Germany like being a master's student and is life ever easy no matter what you're doing in Germany? Mhm. -mm. Mm -mm. No, it's, it's actually. Mm -hmm. Let's put it this way: like, ma, way, way, way. It it depends on a lot of things. Yeah. How good your German is, first of all, mm -hmm. because most German companies they employ people whose mm -hmm. German is very fluent. Yes. So you can be as brilliant and first class as you want, but if your German isn't as great. Then you might not have a good side hustle exactly. to maintain you while you're studying. Mm -hmm. You might get a place where it's either you're earning very kidogo mm -hmm. or you're working you need a shorty job. Yeah. Many what? hours, less pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you need the the energy and time to study more than you need hustling for upkeep. But we did it. Yeah. Just have to humble yourself and scrub that pan. Humble yourself before <laughs> the road. He will lift you up. He um, will lift you. Humble yourself. <laughs> I am tired. It's late. I'm going your way. Bye. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> We are not done. Okay. <clears throat> Is it so, possible to change? Au pair visa to student visa It's possible it's doable but it depends on the 1.5 million No okay the 10k if you have the account with money mm -hmm. or if you have someone to sign the verpflichtungs uh, clear home mm -hmm. Yes So but it's, it's but basically it's Doable. It's doable if you have the requirement. Okay, <laughs> that's the next question. That's the next question. Mm -hmm. If yes, mm -hmm. what are the requirements? Yeah, the account with money. Um, you need, of course, like insurance. You need um, a place to stay. You have to prove that you can sustain yourself and um, have a roof over your over your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that you've passed all your tests, uh, all your exams before. So, to, um, mm -hmm. grades are important, very, very important. Okay. Good grades are very important. But I think those are basically the requirements. Yeah, and sometimes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, sometimes some universities will ask for work experiences, kidogo, mm -hmm. especially if you're doing marketing, uh, communication. They want to see what you've done before. Um, when you're writing your motivation letter, please um, include every experience that you've done before, mm -hmm. of work you've done before. Mm -hmm. Do I still need to have a locked account to study language? No. Not. No, no, no. But for that you need now to apply... Well, if you're learning the language because you intend to go to the university you have to already have shown the embassy that you have a plan so basically this is how you survive germany 
always show that you have a plan make sure you have a plan because if you're just studying language and then you figure things out you'll kind of fall out of the system because life is hard i have to be honest life is really hard and um for some of us we had to really do the work kabisa you know like doing this hustle small hustle so that we can go through school and it's very very easy to forget um why you're doing it and if you don't have a plan after two years i think they could actually terminate your visa if you don't really have a plan a proper plan of studying of course other people do other things to maintain or sustain themselves in germany but if your main point is studying here mm -hmm. i would say that um um kuja na mupango yeah you mentioned something about um where, like when you're trying to apply for language course mm -hmm. here in germany mm -hmm. you they make you write a motivational letter at the at the embassy yes they do is that still the case guys can you yeah please let us know okay so but how uh, does that work so usually it's like when, when you're asking for the visa they ask you why do you want to go to germany so much mm. what's uh, what's your motivation so at least in my case mm. i had to sit down i got a piece of paper and a pen and i was told to sit down and ask what drives me and what my plan is mm -hmm. so i wrote a lot of dreams wow and wrote and wrote until that lady was like yeah, until that lady she'll be the she president she had this country hallelujah hallelujah the dream is bread. valid still <laughs> <laughs> so you have to convince them at least um even if you don't have a plan make sure they know that they feel that you have a plan todo hmm. otherwise they'll deny your visa and that's not what you're going there to look for no a visa denial so you've got to sell your dream in a way that they will allow you the visa or yeah. they will grant you the visa to go to germany yeah but please stay realistic <laughs> well just putting it out there given another chance mm -hmm. would you still do it here mm -hmm. why here and not in canada usa uk Eh, uh, hey, that's a difficult question. For sure my life would have been easier in Canada or UK because of the language? Yes. Okay. But mm -hmm. I don't get to see such a Oh. Ataka ningemwona gishagi gwito. True. Oh yeah, we come you from the same Geshage, the same village. Wow. Mm? We are village girls. I am telling you. Do we look like especially with this <sighs> Wait. Afro. Tumekuja kuwa chic. Kata kuwa shopping. There's a word. No, that was a good one. That was a good one. It was a good one. Right? Yeah, that was a good one. I'm improving. Kumo <laughs> hey. All right. So, <clears throat> I hope we answered uh all your questions as in at least the ones that I got. I tried to answer in case I missed some from the DMs that I I have not yet been able to open yet. I'm sorry. And we might have another session in September to do this again. So in in case you still have a question, do DM me or leave them in the comment sections and in the comment section and we're going to get back to that at another time given the chance inshallah please subscribe inshallah subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and oh thumbs up for my beauty from the gishagi <laughs> Okay, we tried. You guys, we were just here chilling and lazing around. Don't tell. I had Don't tell. Don't tell. I'll see you on the next we video. We woke up this way. I woke up like this. We woke up with this. I don't okay. know why I look like that, okay? <laughs>